Welcome uh, at the Brussels Film Festival here at Flaget. You are the two main characters of the movie My, fa my Brother, the Devil. Who's the brother? We're both brothers. Yeah. Who's the devil? <laughs> um, that's up to you to decide, actually. It's, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's ambiguous, deliberately, as to who's the devil. Could be him, could be me. Different, different people will think different things. The strong man is the one who can control himself when he's angry. Gee, <laughs> real gangsters don't say they're gangsters. This is how it starts, bruv. You know, I can't talk. For your character, you learned you you have to, to feel it and to, to live something like that to, to be able to play it? You know, you, whenever you're playing any part, you have to draw from your own personal experiences. And obviously, my, my experiences are very different to Rashid's experiences. He comes from a much tougher, rough and ready background uh, in London than I do. Um, uh, you know, I've never sold drugs, I've never been in a gang, um, I've never been that violent, i never had the kind of, you know, obstacles that he's had. But um, I guess, you know, I think any actor just does the same thing what, what I did for the, for the movies. You see what you don't have and you, and you go and explore it. And luckily I had five months um, before we started shooting to research into the role, into the character. And I actually spent five months with a lot of guys who... Uh, the movie was kind of based on, or at least are from the same world that my character's from. So I actually spent a lot of time with them learning that whole experience. Well, wasn't it too dangerous? Um, I mean, it's it's not not really because, you know, they, they, first of all, some of the my into that world were some boys that the director knew very well. And some of them were actually in the movie, some of the boys, and some of them helped in the movie as well, worked on the movie. So I already had that relationship with them, and they, they kind of knew I was an actor in this film that was going to be portrayed by them. And because they respected Sally, the director, so much, it made it a lot easier. If I was just any old person, and we just kind of called them up, they would have been like, what the hell? But I know what you mean. Danger? I mean, yes and no. I mean, it's, 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 it's not a safe world, but I think, you know, I wasn't... I was seeing things, and I was, but I wasn't inside actually doing anything. So it was more from a kind of bird's eye point of view. If you see what I mean? It's like I'm right in the middle of the sea. Yeah, you know what I tell Rash, bro. Body out air, bro. Yeah, my dad, bro. I can do what I want. I'm on my own. I need help. I'm running around thinking I'm untouchable. Them I want to do something different. Wish was never my brother. When you're growing up in an environment like Hackney and everything like that is happening around you, as much as you would love to avoid it because of your religion or your parents telling you, oh, you're Muslim, you're not like these people, you shouldn't be out with these people, as much as you try to avoid it, you're always caught up in it somehow. And you, Fadi, you, you play uh, Mo, the little brother, uh, who wants to, to be like his big brother, so he wants to be recognised. I was just more um, motivated and wanting to do this movie and obviously where it was the character was Egyptian and he could re and in so many reasons the character related to me as a person and like my background of Egyptian and my mum and dad how strict they are and obviously in the movie you see how they are and I just felt like I could relate to this character a lot and obviously I, this is my first movie so obviously where it was a big opportunity for me as a lead role and obviously having done the auditions and being able to audition with James and really feel like and me and the director and I just really felt like this was for me and I just like done everything as like I worked so hard to actually get into the role and just it, the whole idea of it just really motivated me to want to do it and that's what really inspired me to be honest. How did you come with a project? It's your first movie and did you make some other acting in other short movies or things like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always like done projects with my friends maybe in college they do like media projects and they'll always want me to act. I'll do like theatre in college and people would tell me I'm good and then I was just told to start going to a, a drama school. It's a really small drama school in uh, Islington called Young Actors Theatre and um, I just went to workshops there and really I got picked up by the agency like a few months after being in the workshop and then just from then I done like I was an extra in other films and then 
I just started growing from there. Like once I was an extra and then I become a supporting artist and then obviously where this was an opportunity as a lead role, I just like wanted to grab it straight away. Like I thought this was my chance. Did you get a lot of uh, freedom to, to interpret or is it was it really written? In no, no, no. I actually thought like straight away as soon as I got the script, it was like massive and I was just thinking like, how am I going to have to learn all these lines? Like I, I felt pressured in a way because as much as I wanted it, as soon as I got the script, I realized this is actually a big like it's, it's, a, it's a big job to actually be able to do this so obviously I, I, I felt pressured but once I was on set like every day you get a tiny script and you have to read the lines of the director and the director's amazing she really just helped me and the way she directed me just really I don't know what it was she done but there's something that she the, the way she talks to me and the way she'll just keep me in the room and just talk to me and explain to me the character and just really break down the script it really helped me like It was just amazing the way she just it kind of, she brainwashed me in a way. Yeah, it's amazing because you're the one who wants to to do good, yeah. and yet everything you do is is wrong. It's, it's the, the wrong choice. Exactly, because I, I I don't see like as much as like you hear me like saying things like my brother don't care about me when really you see that all my brother cares about is me and my family and me doing well. So I I don't see my brother's path. Like, I don't see what he's doing. So obviously, after seeing certain things he does, I don't feel like he loves me. But obviously in realness like he loves me a lot so obviously that's 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 the crazy part about the film because everything like as much as he does his own thing i do my own thing we never know what we're doing but our separate paths like affect each other all the time if you understand so as much as like When my brother's involved in it, and he's he's my brother, so I look up to him. He's that's the only person that I've got to look up to. So obviously, he's doing so well. He's good looking. He's getting all the girls. He's got money. He's selling drugs. He's like he's he's, he's recognized as a as a like a good guy in the, in the hood. So obviously, I want to be like him, of course. And obviously, when when a tragedy occurs and that situation happens, um, I I feel I feel like it's my fault. So obviously, in so many ways, I want to make up for it to my brother and prove to him like that I didn't mean it or because I, I feel like it's my fault what happened but I want to prove to my brother that I'm actually capable and I'm grown up and I'm mature enough but he doesn't see that in me because obviously the life that I want to be in is not what anyone wants their children to be involved or their younger brother to be involved in drugs or the roads or anything because it's dangerous so obviously it's the wrong path for me but Once you, you get interested in, in rap, you write lyrics, and uh, and he, he doesn't care because he's already into yeah. trouble. And he, it's because he understands more than me. Of course, like, I want to rap and I want to do my music, but he's more realistic than me. He's an older brother. He understands that rapping ain't going to pay the bills. So as much as it, it would be good for me to pursue my music career, but if he knows it's not right for me. It's not going to pay the bills in a hood like Hackney. He's spitting because a lot of people in Hackney feel like rapping and they see all these rappers making it big from nowhere so they feel like they can make it big from Hackney but it's it's really difficult to pay the bills from spitting so he's more realistic than me so. You got a ca the, the cap so maybe you're a rapper so <laughs> no, no. Not at all. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> It, it looks like uh, your, your voice in the in the lyrics. Did, did you record some lines? No, or no, 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 actually, a lot of people have said that to me. It's not actually me. It's it's actually Cashtastic. He's a uh, he's a UK artist doing very well at the moment. Cashtastic, yeah. also known as Cash. <laughs> Do you wish to work internationally or within other countries, other directors? And Definitely, like that's everyone's. I don't know about if it's it's everyone's young, like some of my age, to work in Hollywood, of course. But obviously, to be in America or working abroad, of course, it would mean it would show that, like as much as this film proves that I've, like it is a lot of success for me to do this film. But I would love to go abroad and do other films and other projects. But I'm still, as I said, I'm still young, so like these things will happen eventually. So there's no rush. I hope.